My depression is a shapeshifter. One day it is as small as a firefly in the palm of a bear. The next it's the bear. On those days I play dead until the bear leaves me alone. Mom says I thought the problem was that you can't get out of bed. I can't. Anxiety holds me a hostage inside of my house, inside of my head. Mom says, where did anxiety come from? Anxiety is the cousin visiting from out of town. Depression felt obligated to bring to the party. Mom, I am the party. Only I am a party I don't want to be at. Mom says, why don't you try going to actual parties? See your friends. Sure, I make plans. I make plans, but I don't want to go. I make plans because I know I should want to go. I know some Sometimes I would have wanted to go. It's just not that much fun having fun when you don't want to have fun, Mom. There comes a time when the blank, the blankness of future is so extreme. It is such a black wall of nothingness, N not even of bad things. It's not like there's a cave full of monsters that you're afraid of entering the future. It is just nothingness. Le néon, as the French would say, la vide, the, the void. My depression always drags me back. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are, are you just here to live, to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? It was so hard because people put me down. And I started believing that I was not good enough. I started believing that I was a failure. That I'd never ever be somebody who people would like or people would accept. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you got to live with. And when you're growing up in life, it actually sort of matters to people how you look. And then it matters to you because it matters to others. Why? Why does it matter how you look? Because if they don't like you, then who will? If they don't accept you, then who will? And the fear that we have is that we're going to be alone. The choice that we have though is either to give up or keep on going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself? Are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Are you going to believe people when they say that you're a failure? When no one really likes you, no one really cares about you. A few months ago, after knowing Eckhart Tolle for a while and studying the books, I woke up and... I suddenly got it. I understood suddenly how thought was just an illusory thing. Uh, and how thought is responsible for, if not all, most of the suffering we experience. And then I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems, I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. It's our intention. Our intention is everything, 
Nothing happens on this planet without it. Not one single thing has ever been accomplished without intention. If you don't have very strong emotions, very intense thoughts about something, you cannot get depressed. You think it's your right to throw tantrums, you think it's your right to get angry with people, you think it's your privilege to be depressed so that you'll get attention from somebody. You keep playing this, one day you will not, able, you will not be able to turn back. It's horrible to contemplate uh, a futureless future, if that isn't too impossible. Um, and so you just want to, to step out of it, to step out of a, the, the, the whole race, the whole business. The, the monstrosity of being alive overwhelms you. You know, so many people put me down and say, Nick, you look too weird and no one's really offended. You can't do this and you can't do that. You see, I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. We're all looking for hope, aren't we? What are you looking for? Money, drugs, sex, alcohol, pornography, fame, fortune. Never satisfied who you are and why you're here. William Barclay, he said, the greatest two days in anyone's life, the day you were born and the day you knew why. And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong?